Kasala for Niger State has armed bandits kidnap schoolboys. My betalicious person there, welcome you to yet another edition of TGM TV Daily News Update. That your one-stop channel where they give you all these breaking news and happening stories there for inside Nigeria and all around the world. This time around, we'll not come again with another story. we consign the students of Government Science College for Kangara for Niger State. And when I, when I remember, I said never to tell, we'll talk about the over 300 schoolboys when I'm banded base with for Kan Kankara for Castina State, and how after some days they released them after negotiation between the government and the armed bandits. Now this time around, we we'll talk about the boys from the Government Science College for Kangara for Rafi local government of Niger State. Now they said say the bandits then be send message to the community for that place for that Kangara. Said that they come. The people for this uh, community, they call the fear because they don't know where the bandits that they come. They say around 10 again, later, and then they call you say the people they just they ask it of the Kangara for there, and then they, they come inside the place. But they don't really know where and where they won't attack. Now around 3 o'clock for morning, then the armed bandits they enter Government Science College, and they wear school uniform, so they don't go no say they be Orukuruku people them. As they enter, they overpower the guards, Go the staff quarter there where the teachers they stay. All the teachers, some of some of the teachers, their children say, Oh, yeah, go show us where students they sleep. They go show them where the students they sleep. And from there, they go base with over 27 students, them, three teachers, 12 of the teachers' family members. Now, you get one of the boys and we try to, you know, follow their thing. We won't base, we won't miss, you know, that's time, won't come out. But uh, the arm band, they say, Where you they go? Before you know, they give her granite for body. The guy leg over. Now, the governor of Niger State, Alaji Abubakar Sanibelo, don't come as I call order the closure of all boarding schools for Rafi, Mariga, Munya, and Shiroro local government areas of the state. The government, they maintain their stance. They don't pay any ransom to any kidnappers or any body bandit or what they call They say because. If they give them this money, what do they demand for? Now, better, better ammunition, and they go use that they go buy. What do they take? They overpower the uh, Nigerian community more and more. Say, then they pay them any ransom money. The secretary to the government say, uh, they'll confirm and send 27 students, three staffs, and 12 members of their family. Now, they go sweet. And true, true, they buy one student, they try to come out. And then when they call us, they say, Consign, what about the video where they go viral, where the band they celebrated, they, they kidnap uh, passengers for the NSTA bus and they demand for 500 million naira ransom? The governor don't talk about that matter. They need to pay anybody any ransom. Now, the men of the Nigerian army, they don't they currently there on the trail of the armed bandit. And so the spokesperson of the army talk, they don't they pursue the people there. For the Rafi local government, try to find out where they day so that they will feel rescue the boys they come out for their and I don't call on anybody will get useful information on how to fit track these people. Say I better come as I call so that we self will go know how we go work out the worker pass. Meanwhile, the Nigerian Senate don't call for state of emergency for security matter for Nigeria. Say because the many, many Akamuka the way they happen, especially for our institutions of learning. Say, Kobe, like I said to go to school and not go with this safe so for some parts of the country. Gabu Boudon order, say, may the military and the police, may they make sure, say, they, uh, they ensure the immediate and safe return of the staff and students of the Government Science College for Kangara. May, and the students now that they talk, say, may they declare state of emergency on top security matter for this country. Because in number two, the middle of December 2020, then they kidnapped the over 300 boys for uh, Kankara College. Eh? Before that one, we get the Daship case. Before that one, we get the Shibok matter. Like I said, today we'll never finish solve the mystery of that Shibok uh, matter. As in the Nevu, 
they never know where some of the day. Every day I just say that some of the dog escape, some dog come back, some never come back. She book matter still there, the ship matter still there, girl. Eh, can't carry matter. Eh, miraculously, we don't know it did happen. After like two days, a bit three days, they release the boys. They come back, all of them complete. Nah, nah, nah. It just be like say that they target schools. They target schools where they will go. For the school, then they go kidnap. They go cause the main government bring ransom. And uh, maybe because our government, they treat, they handle them with kids' gloves, eh? With small picky eye. They look at this one, not until they do, they be small children. Now they get to do, it's like every day that they, that they improve, that they, that, they use, uh, that they use the previous ones that they practice. Now that they improve, that they call them bandits and bandits. This one don't pass bandits matter. Children don't go to school again, call sleep for school with their eyes closed. They don't say they don't know whether they go wake up for a side bush or they go wake up for kidnappers then. It's a gas be. If you be parent, how you go feel? So you're there for this kind of areas there. And you hear say uh, people call like they call leg over some of your children there. It don't make sense at all. The zeal to take go school. It could just die for many people body because they go say after all, if I go school, I don't know. Why well, they go call carry me go join the uh, bandits? Call train me go join bandits. Like I be the fear of some of the parents. And some of these boys now, nah, as they be boys, they feel go recruit them, join all these uh, uh, rural people there. Before you know, they go train them, they go join them. They call become armed bandits too. And then like, what did the governor talk? When they pay them this ransom finish, they feel that they go buy more ammunition there, buy different different things that what they need, so that they go feel. Continue to the oppress uh, Nigeria. Minister for Information and Culture, like Mohammed, don't come as I just say, they're not going to allow anybody to take over the sovereignty of Nigeria. See, as a matter of fact, they don't allow criminal elements. Eh? They're not going to hand over Nigeria to criminal elements. Eh? So, government, they on the trail of these armed bandits, as they call them. The matter has been so, it don't gain international recognition. Many, many people don't look into the matter and say, Nigeria, what did they happen? And you know, so everything to happen for Nigeria must always get political undertone. Uh, some politicians don't come as a court to say, all these kidnap here and there, bandits for road, bandits for village, say, now because the present APC government no get mind, they no get liver, they no get stronghold on this. A security matter, yeah, they handle it is like uh, I like said, that small children they play 10 10. You know, that oh, they play 10 10. Uh -huh. See, that's what the government they, they look at, then they look at it anything. Why some people don't see commerce? I say, all these things where they happen so now, not if they happen, but small, small go, don't they creep enter south, don't they creep enter west, don't they creep enter east. Say, because say, the government it be like say they favor some people, and those people now they see that they enter inside their head, they don't they want to use that. Eh? Oppress the whole country. One group of people who just did they want to oppress the full country. As if now they not get the whole of Nigeria. You see the matter where they grand now. So now nah, nah, 27 boys. 28 before, but one of the boys they called Legoba because he tried to escape. 27 boys, three teachers, and 12 of their family members. They the hands of these people now. And they, they demand for ransom. We never know how much they want demand for. But for the passengers who they kidnapped for real for the same Niger state, these people they demand for 500 million naira. We know how much they want demand for now. By the time you put the two together, you see, we go really know because this kind of money, the economy money, they want to go buy sweet and shingum. This is money they want, they don't get planned of this money. They don't get what this money to buy. And all this one, they go for that to wreck the economy of the nation because by the time you they put 500 million, 100 million, 200 million, come on from one place, for you know. Economy go, they go down. Next thing, government go say they want to borrow our money they for bank. So, I bet Nigeria government would they beg now. I mean, we could not go after this, but we to try to rescue these boys then. But my people, how you see this matter? Comment for the comment section. Drop your, if I didn't matter, they pay me. Drop your comment for the comment section. What will know what you think and what you feel? Say, government go feed do to stop all this kidnapping here and there. Well, this is Nasty DJM TV Daily News Updates. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to follow us on every other social media platform where we do Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. And me, where they bring you this news, so my name is Allah will favor. And they tell you, say, I beg, may you stay safe. DJ DJ
people are living for don't say no, they don't like us. Welcome to DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. DJ TV. Some of the delegates are asking the question. DJ TV.